Hey everyone, this is Truveen and in this session we will be talking about how we can draw x-axis constant line for line charts. This is the new feature that has been rolled out during March 2020 Power BI desktop update. Now let's talk more about that thing in detail. Here I have opened my Power BI desktop and you can see that on my axis I have ordered it and on my y axis I have total number of cells. And now here you can see that I am showing one constant line for x axis which is showing some specific date over here which is 29th of April. Now how we can show this type of constant line for line chart. Now let's talk more about that thing in detail over here. So first of all let me create a new page and let me add one line chart over here. So I have added one line chart here and now I am adding two fields over here. So I am adding order date on my axis and I am just taking as order date instead of date hierarchy. And on the y axis I am just adding total. So it is preparing this type of graph. Now the concept is how to add that constant line. For that select your visualization then go to the analytics section from here and here you can see that x axis constant line over here. Now this x axis constant line will work similar like y axis constant line which was already there. Now just expand that and click on add. Now depending on your data type on the axis it will show the value option. So let's say here I have date field on my axis so it is showing me date picker like this and now from here I can select any constant date based on my requirement. So let's say for an example I just wanted to add a date of 29th of April and I just wanted to have line color as this type of purple then I just need to add that and you can see that the type of axis has been added over here. So here you can see that one constant line on x axis has been added. Now there are different formatting options available as well. Now you can increase or decrease the transparency for your line using this option. Also you can change the line type as well. You can convert it to solid or in a dotted format whatever you wish. So let me just keep it as dotted. Then position. So uh, there are two position behind and in front. So you can uh, choose based on your requirement and data label. So when you turn it on it will show the data label over here that on which this constant line is representing. Also you can change the color as well for your data label. So I am just changing the color as this type of purple. Now here you can uh, show the text as well. By default it is showing value but with that it is showing the name as well x axis constant line and also you can rename that as well. So let's say you can just add as a target date and that name will be changed over here. Also here let's say if you want to show name and value we can show both the value over here. Then horizontal position you can change the position of your text on right or left based on your convenient. Then you can also change the vertical position as well. If you wanted to change the position of your label at the down of your axis you can change or maybe you can also change it above like this. Display unit is auto but based on your convenience you can change similar for decimal places as well. So let's say on your x axis if you have number field then this two field will be useful to you. Also one more important thing. This x axis constant line is something which only supports two data type at this moment. It is number or it is in date. If you have any text data type on your axis then you are not able to see x axis constant line over here. So consider that point and choose the data type wisely and use this feature wisely. Right. So hope this tip is helpful to you. You understand that how you can add x axis constant line over here. Also one more important thing you can add multiple x axis constant line as well. You need to click on add button again and you just need to provide another thing that previous date. And let's say you wanted to add that value as so let's say here we have set our date as 13th of January 
and here you can see that we have turned on the data label and as well we have changed its position so you can add multiple x-axis constant line as well on your axis based on your convenient and requirement hope this tip is helpful to you if you have any question related to the power bi you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter whatsapp and instagram also if you are looking for any consultancy here is the website do visit and add your queries over there if you are looking for instagram learning for power platform here is a insta icon just click on that it will redirecting you to my instagram home page over here you can learn different power platform concept because i am uploading new concept every day on instagram as well so here you can visit different posts different reels different igtv videos everything over here so do follow power platform guy on instagram also one more important thing if you are interested to listen different audiogram related power platform here is a podcast channel do visit that channel over here you can listen different power platform podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital throwing click on that it will redirecting you to this channel over here i am uploading different short video related power platform do subscribe and show your love over there as well this is throwing signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye